The thing about storms and season changes is they bring about weather that can play havoc on the network. All we can do is be as prepared as possible for what may come. But don't worry, we've got a game plan for that. So, who's responsible for vegetation management on private property? This one's going to sound obvious. It's homeowners and occupiers. They're responsible for making sure trees on their property stay clear of power lines. And along with the local council, we're responsible for trees on public space. Easy peasy. Like anything in life, heaps of unpredictable things can happen in and around the network. Here's our plan for that. Assume everything is live. Electrical current may be present in every part of a space, including the base of vegetation when it's in contact with live overhead lines, especially when it's wet or windy. Be wary of unexpected movement of trees and vegetation around electrical infrastructure. Conductors may sway due to wind and make contact with each other, or worse, you. Ouch! Be wary of changing conditions in your work area, such as traffic, pedestrians and livestock interfering with the work. Pesky chooks. When trees come into contact with power lines, they can cause power failures, bushfires and serious accidents. So, here's the plan. Trees must never be within 2.5 metres of power lines. They're full of water, and water can be a pretty good conductor in the right conditions. Trees that are touching power lines must never be cut by anyone who is in an uninsulated elevated work platform or in an earth situation, for example, standing on the ground or working within a tree. Contact with any part of a tree can cause electrocution and burns. If this happens, immediately get in touch with us to sort it. We got gotcha. you. It's very dangerous to trim trees anywhere near power lines. Here are a bunch of don'ts. Don't work while standing on a metal ladder. Yep, sounds like common sense, but it happens quite commonly. If there's vegetation near high voltage conductors, don't work while on a wooden or fiberglass ladder. In fact, don't work near high voltage conductors at all. Don't physically move conductors to enable work. Don't work before dawn or after dusk unless a full risk assessment has been carried out. Don't use an insulated elevated work platform or high voltage insulated tool without proof it's been electrically tested within six months and pass the test. And that's it. For more info on how you can be better prepared for the unpredictable, head to Tree Guild WA. Nature can be unpredictable and sometimes even dangerous. It's everyone's responsibility to help manage vegetation safely around the network so we can avoid unnecessary outages in the community. For more game plans, head to our website.